David, I'm a Red Row technician and I'm here today to talk to you about moisture in your new home. Now, moisture is a part of nature, it's all around us, it's in the air that we breathe and it's a part of the makeup of your new home. So once you've moved in, normal daily household activities like cooking, washing clothes, showering, can raise the moisture levels which may lead to condensation or to mould. So in this film we're going to share with you ways to ventilate your home so as to decrease the chances of that occurring. A huge amount of water went into the construction of your new home in materials such as concrete, plaster, mortar, to name but a few. And although you can't feel that moisture, your home's gonna take a while to dry out, which can take anywhere up to 24 months. Now the first few months of that drying out process can be really helped along by following these guidelines. Keep any trickle vents on your windows open, even during the winter when your heating is on. Remember to always use extractor fans and ideally cover saucepans while cooking to reduce the steam. Perhaps even open a window if you can. Clear any household clutter to allow air to flow more freely from room to room and pay particular attention to small areas that don't get much ventilation, like understairs cupboards. Keep your home well heated, especially during the cold months. Try and maintain a constant and consistent level of warmth, ideally increasing the temperature gradually after you move in, and this will really help you to reduce shrinkage. Avoid drying clothes indoors and on radiators. Now, if you have to, we suggest that the room that you're drying them in, keep it really well ventilated so that the moisture escapes outside and not around the rest of your home. Another way to increase ventilation is to leave your window ajar, but still secure, by closing it on the secondary latch. In the early days, we suggest leaving doors open when you can for things like kitchen cupboards and wardrobes to allow the air to circulate. I know I've said this previously, but it really is so important to use the extractor fan, particularly when bathing. And we know it's personal preference, but do consider minimising taking long showers. If it's safe to do so, open the window to let the steamy air out and the fresh air in. It's also best practice to leave all the fans on for 20 minutes after you've finished, leaving the door closed to the room that you've just used. Keep your furniture at least 10 centimetres away from the wall, allowing for better airflow. We know you want to display your personal belongings, but be mindful when putting up objects such as pictures and mirrors on walls, as these will trap moisture behind them. And finally, keep your loft hatch closed. There's a lot for you to think about there. And even when all of these measures are taken, it is still common to get a little bit of mould in your new home, particularly in corners and behind furniture. One way to treat mould is to wipe it away with a clean cloth and some diluted bleach solution. The key thing to remember is airflow, and the way you live in your home will affect that. If you need any more information on how to ventilate your home, go to My Red Row, where you'll see films such as condensation in roof spaces and how to look after your extractor fan. Thanks for watching.